on fast. Oh, damn. Can't say I'm surprised, but Trinity, over here. Oh, <laughs> but I'm sorry. Don't be. I never really liked him anyway. Well, it's about time you realized it. What did I tell you? He was pretty awful, not gonna lie. He was. And it's not like he was even nice. I know, right? Oh, so they gave your locker to a dorky freshman, and I demanded they move him. Yeah, I was there. Oh, and they retired my basketball jersey? Our poor school isn't gonna be able to pay for the replacement. They'll take it down within the next 10 years when nobody remembers me anymore. I laughed when the dumbass principal mispronounced my last name. I mean, really? Westward, it's not that hard to say. West and word, not westward. He's so pathetic, it's not even close. I know, right? I think he just needs new glasses. So, Trinity? Hi. <laughs> Would you stop doing that? Okay. So anyway, were you really there? Yeah, you didn't wait. <laughs> I didn't see you. Where were you? By the exit. Watching Mr. Norman text his wife. Figures, that man pisses me off. Oh, was that eyeliner I saw in Grace? She's only 11. I swear I'm gone for a few months and I miss everything. <laughs> yeah, well, I haven't exactly been the best role model these last few months. She's growing up so fast. Yeah, her and Michelle, they're going to completely mm -hmm. rule that class. <laughs> oh, God, they're going to be a fascinating pair when they get into high school. Trin, are you okay? Trinity? What? Yeah, relax, I'm fine. That's the problem. What do you mean? Nothing. Forget I mentioned it. No, Trin, tell me. Well, look at me. No, I mean really look at me. You look the same. Exactly. It's been four months and I've looked exactly the same every day. I'm wearing the same clothes. I still have that dumb glitter eyeliner on. Just everything about me is the same. Except the blood stains. Those went away. Don't tell me you haven't noticed. Well, I've noticed, but- What? what? By what? But the fact that I see you every day, and you're wearing a different outfit, different makeup, and your face just looks different? You're getting older, Peyton. It's not that obvious now, but soon enough you'll notice. Yeah, well, I'm not. Well, you're not really supposed to. Then why am I still here? Isn't that why people are put on this earth? To age and live and grow? I'm not living. This isn't life. What is this? I, I don't know. It's just, I keep staring at these damn lights thinking, is this it? Am I going now? Is that the damn light I'm looking for? And just when I'm about to yell, he's afraid I'm coming. I realize I'm staring into a fucking light bulb. And the disappointment is fresh all over again. Well, maybe it's not a light you're looking for. Then what am I looking for? I've been wandering around these same streets, thinking about the same questions, and you're the only one that can see me. This can't be it, can it? Why am I alone? What do you mean alone? I've been looking for my grandma, and she's not anywhere. I've been looking for anybody, really. Anyone that can see me. Someone dead, someone alive, just someone. But I can't find anyone. Everyone here is the same, alive and unable to see me. Well, maybe you just have something here to finish. Maybe you just have Peyton, to- Peyton, this isn't a movie! <coughs> Yesterday, I went to see Michelle and my mom just to see how they were doing. My mom sent Michelle to buy some food, and she went without asking. And my mom. She sat at the kitchen table and cried. She never cried, ever. I just wish everyone would forget me. No one's going to forget you. How would you know? Is this hell? What? Think about it. This shore is in heaven. I'm stuck here half alive and I'm the only one. Is hell just staying here and haunting one person? Watching all the people you love move on around you? Seeing all the pain and suffering you caused, and even worse, watching them all forget about you. 
Maybe I should have talked to my dad more. Maybe I should have tried to help him when he drank too much. Been more understanding, visit him in rehab. Maybe I should Shut have... up! Don't even say that. Absolutely not, Trent. There's no way you ended up hell. No way. You're the best person I've ever known. My best friend. You'll figure it out, Trent. I promise. This isn't it. But what if I don't? What then? Do I just stick around here forever saying the 17-year-old idiot I am right now? This is worse than being alive. Stop! Just stop, okay? You think this is easy for me? If you're in hell, then I'm right there with you. You're my best friend. Everyone knows you're dead, yet somehow I can see you. Every morning I wake up and think, this is just a bad dream. I hope that today's either before the accident or after, and that you aren't there. And guess what? Every day I'm wrong and my hopes are crushed. Every day. Am I crazy? Am I just seeing things? Is this all my imagination? And you think I have those answers? I haven't exactly been dead before. You think I want to be here? You think I don't want you to move on and be happy? You think I like staying here? Look, I know I'm dead. It's not like I'm in denial. I'm sorry. I really wish you were still alive. See, you won't even touch me! But I have clam hands, so it doesn't matter anyway, right? See, this, this is exactly what I'm talking about. I'm not alive, and you can't pretend I still am. I'm not pretending, I know. What do you expect me to do, ignore you? No. You need to move on. At first, I thought this was sort of a second chance, but it's not. Not for you, at least. I can't stay here anymore. This is life, your life. Mine is over. I want what's best for you. But how am I supposed to move on if you can't? Make new friends, enjoy family nights, I don't know. You don't have to waste all your time missing me. Why didn't you tell me any of this? You can tell me anything, you know that. You always did before. But this isn't before. This is after the accident. Everything is different. But we're still friends, Trin. An accident doesn't change everything. Hey, you don't get it. Maybe not a normal accident, but this one does. At least it changes everything for us. I died in that accident, Peyton. While I'm still here, I was never really sure, but it's finally starting to make sense. I don't know what to say. You have your whole life to think of what to say. I don't know where I'll be, but I promise you, wherever I am, I'll always be there for you. This isn't fair, Trin. You don't deserve this. This is all my fault. Don't be stupid, Peyton. That's so dumb. Don't even think that. You don't understand. Do you remember the night? You called me and asked if I wanted to go to the party. And I said no, because I didn't want to be the only sober one there and just be the cabbie for everyone at the end. If I had just said yes and gone, you'd still be here. So you think this was your fault? I don't know. Yes, was it my fault? I was so selfish. If I wasn't so damn lazy, I would have been there. Cut the crap, Peyton. Anything could have happened. This isn't your fault. Then whose is it? You know, the minute I was above the car watching everything play out, I started to blame people. First I blamed Chris, who by the way, I have not seen. Then I blamed Charlie, then my dad, my mom, the car, the alcohol. Then I blamed myself. I made the dumbass decision to go to the party and get drunk. I got into a car with Chris, who couldn't even walk straight. It was my fault. But I could have stopped you. But how could you have possibly known? Of course I know now that you would have done anything to prevent it, but you just didn't know. But this isn't your fault either. And I'm finally starting to believe it. Shit happens. Sometimes it's bad, like this, and sometimes good, like knowing you. But it happens, and it's stupid and a waste of time to linger on anything that won't change for too long. Everything happens for a reason, right? Then what's the reason for this? Fuck if I know. But what I do know is that it happened. I've wasted four months of your time. It's enough. Peyton, it's time to move on. What? No, Trent, don't go. Hey, this isn't normal. I'm finally at peace. I get it now. Get what? I don't really know how to explain it. I just feel like these last few months, I've carried around this weight of hurt, fear, and blame. 
I didn't think I was, but I've been starting to accept it, and I'm trying to move on. Now it all makes sense. I couldn't accept the fact that I'm gone and the world is moving on without me. But I get it now. Just because I'm gone doesn't mean that I'm forgotten or that there isn't something better after. For the first time in a long time, I feel just genuinely happy and free, and I think I'm ready. Ready? That doesn't even make sense. I don't want you to go. Yes, you do. You said so yourself. Come on, you gotta get back out there. You have your whole life to live, and I want you to enjoy every minute of it. And I promise you, when it ends, I'll be right there waiting. I don't know. I do. Because you know everything. <laughs> That's right. Pain and girl laugh with me. Remember how things used to be? When we would watch movies and you'd yell at the TV like they could hear you? Or when I tripped you near that fountain so Ben would notice you? <laughs> yeah, to this day, he still thinks I'm some spastic klutz. Bitch. What? Jerk. Smart ass. I guess you're right. Some things never change. Man, I'm gonna miss you. I'll miss you too. Thanks, Trip. It's beautiful, Peyton. Really beautiful. Goodbye, Trent. This isn't goodbye. I love you. I love you too.